right. Good evening. And yes, it is evening. It's 930. Well, actually, it's now 940 Eastern time on my side. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Bernard Canna. I am the editor photographer of the website known as The Photo Pit. We are continuing our series of interviews with the Blue Ridge Rock Festival Rising Talents. And once again, we have another wonderful rising talent that I think everyone is going to love. Um, they will be playing at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival, like everyone else we've been speaking to. I want to introduce everyone to the band known as Waking the Sleeper. How is everyone tonight? Hey. Hey. How are you? hey. And, and I will say you're my latest interview so far, but I know you're in a different time zone than me, so that's okay. <laughs> We're glad, I'm glad we can make this arrangement to be able to do that. So um, let me have you introduce yourselves and your role in the band so our viewers and listeners can uh, understand who you are. Sounds like a plan. I'm Ryan. I play bass for Waking the Sleeper. I'm Sean. I play keyboards for Waking the Sleeper and backup vocals. I'm Junie. I play guitars for Waking the Sleeper. I'm Josh. I play drums for Waking the Sleeper. And of course, I'm Raven. I'm the lead vocalist for Waking the Sleeper. Okay. Very cool. Nice to meet you all. Thank you for taking the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's let's start off with the basics and stuff. So how long has Waking the Sleeper been around? We're going on almost five years. Okay. okay. So about 2016 that you guys were starting? Um, it was late 2016, and we really went out. Um, it was like December uh, 2016, and then we really went out in uh, January, February. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. How did you, how did you form as a band? Like, did you all know each other prior to this? Was you know was this random happenstance of meeting each other as musicians? Yeah, actually, me and Sean, um, we started this together. Um, this was kind of a project. Um, it, it started um, with me and him creating music, um, and uh, I, I had saw a um, video on Facebook. Um, it was like a, it was like uh, animals versus humans, um, and I was like, "What is this?" And I, I at the time I had a two year old and a four year old, and they were laying in, in bed with me asleep, and um, I was just clicking on it, and it it was talking about two dogs crossing a highway and one of them got hit by a car and then it nudged you know the the um, the other dog nudged him across the highway and people stopped and the dog survived and then it said now humans and and <laughs> it was a cctv of a little girl who was two years old her name is yu yu and um she got hit by a 10 to 12 um passenger van yeah. and 17 people ended up walking around her body and i just wanted to crawl through my phone i was so angry and I was like, how, you know, where's the compassion gone, you know? And um, I talked with him about it and I said, I, I know what I wanna do for this next album. I said, in this first song is Wrath. This is what I wanna do. And so we ended up creating a 14 song together because I found these guys. I've already, I knew Junie and I knew um, Steb um, uh, for years. We had known each other through other bands that they were already playing in. Um, so I basically kidnapped them and put them in the, the, my cellar and fed them water and, and, bread and, and then I said, you know, when you're done, are you ready? <laughs> they were compliant. Much, they were compliant much. at that point. Yeah. So so then they joined forces with me, um, and then we had Josh join us um, about two years ago, and uh, we've just been Pretty rolling like since. Then. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 2018. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, driving, I was driving home. And yeah, I think it was drunk at the time. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll don't drink and drive, Keith. Don't right. drink and drive. Right. So yeah, so so we created the uh, first album uh, with an amazing producer. His name is Dustin and from Bullet Ray Productions. And um, I actually, you know, me and him work really well together because he'll send me the music, and as soon as he does, he's waiting for like a three-page report, like I'm sending back to him. Okay, we need this and this. This needs to go here. This this needs to go there so <laughs> but right. it worked really really well together so and then we came out with that whole idea and the the whole album from beginning to end is basically uh, the seven deadly sins it's that whole journey through life that we all go through the, the anger the happiness the sorrow the pain you know all of it and i and i think we uh, we did an amazing job on that album so when yeah so i was gonna bring that up so you have that one album it's called seven deadly sins when did that come out when was that released that was actually it. There was there was a first release and then it got cut off, right? Yeah. It got, the first release got cut off, um, and then it got re-released underneath Sony Orchard. And then when that um, got released, um, because we became a Sony Orchard um, uh, artist, that was like end of eighteen. Was that like November? November eighteen. There's a copyright there. You can find out. Yeah, we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
somewhere around there. The official one came out after we uh, yeah. signed with a record company. Right, which, we, yeah, which is Rock Avenue Records USA. They've been a, a driving amazing force in our distribution side of everything. So, um, but- uh, 18. Yeah, I think-, I think 2018. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere around 2018. <laughs> you know, we're just, we just make the music. We don't <laughs> We don't pay attention to the time. <laughs> Tell me about the um, your record label. So you said you signed with a record label for that album. Who is that? That is uh, through Rock Avenue Records USA, um, and uh, they've been again, like I, you know, they, they've been a huge driving force in our distribution side um, of a lot of what we're doing. So it's it's been an amazing relationship together, and they've become family. So okay, very cool. So they're what's LA. yeah, they're out of LA. They're out of LA. Okay. So what's the, I guess, the next plan? So we have, you know, the album out, you have, and, and if I remember, was was it 14 tracks that was on yes. Seven Deadly Sins? Yes. I remember you sent me this, yeah, 14 in a particular order. You're like, listen to this this way, you know, <laughs> for all these tracks. Um, so what's next for for the band? We, uh, we are in the writing process of creating the second album. Um, not not going to give any... Specific. Nope, that's fine. <laughs> well, we do have the uh, the single. The new single. On we, do. we do. We, we kind of gave a little a teaser of what to expect, which is called Rat in a Cage. Um, we did that during the pandemic. So we did it down here in our practice room um, and had it, um, a video of that. Uh, it was originally going to be a lyric video. Um, and it just turned out to be so cool the way that it just, just was filmed so raw. Um, and it was just a lot of fun. And there was a lot of bands putting out videos of just in their practice space right. or in like Zoom meetings like this. Right. And so we found a guy that was uh, able to put together a, a pretty decent project that we just saw here. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. And uh, it turned out really good. Yeah. And I'm sure we'll put a link in the. Yeah, that's that's the one song that um I do a lot of cussing in. So if you have kids. <laughs> And, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly okay. Um, so I was going to ask with, you know, now that you've had, you know, the full album, you had that one. And I did listen to Rat in a Cage. I really like that. It's not a lot of cussing. Yeah, I really like that. A little bit. <laughs> tell tell our, our watchers here, what's how would you define your style of music for Waking the Sleeper? Um, you know, that's that's a hard one, I think, especially for me. I don't know about you boys, because I just do what I feel. I do what I love. There's so many different genres and likes in the band. It's yeah. kind of, everything comes out. We yeah. just kind of uh, pick this, pick that, pick this. It's what we like from the different genres of metal. Basically. Yeah, it, it wasn't like we were going for a specific sound per se. We just, okay. we, we would start with a riff or a piano part or um, even a vocal part and we would just run with it and just whatever we felt, that's that's what you hear. I've been doing this with this band for like I said, almost five years and and can't really like pin anything down yeah. can't really pin anything down so i think just, most people would generalize this as like a melodic, melodic metal, metal i guess yeah. we do the softer side but then we also have the harder so okay yeah and and, and i could i could easily hear and see that you know from from what i was listening to on your tracks um do you have certain influences that you've gotten from other bands that that influence i guess like the sound that you have today uh, I think everyone probably pulls from something personally. Um, I don't think there's anything as a whole that our band looks to to uh, try to, um, you know, emulate. Um, Should be on the, the rides home. It's hard to pick what CD we're going to listen to. <laughs> yeah. We're all over the place. We're right. The I, place. Mean, I mean, from, you know, Animals as Leaders to Dog Fashion Disco to Fear Factory to, I mean, it just goes on and on. Yeah. Post Malone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll come, I'll be in here and they're playing Post Malone on the acoustic guitar, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> you you did listen. You did listen really good and, and unique um, influences to me that you know band, that I don't hear often from right. other artists that I interview of you know of who you you know may like may have pulled from or been influenced by in your music. So that's that's pretty cool. I like that. It's and it is like your your sound. I mean the. I would never want to just, you know, it's hard to label, you know, sometimes because everyone says like, you know, you can't label someone. I mean, I get it, you know, but everyone wants to try to throw something in a genre, you know, in some way, shape or form, you know, that melodic metal, maybe even on the edge of death metal, I can see, right. you know, from, from what I've listened to. Um, it, it is good. I will, what I want to do is I will take Rat in the Cage and I want to put that in our interview. So fans definitely watch this video, listen to this. You will 
absolutely love that song from from Waking the Sleeper for yeah. sure. That was All a right. lot of fun to record. It was, and and I think that a lot of people truly even some still feel that way you know that you know that's all we were was just rat, rats in a cage you know and we felt so just isolated from the world and the world was just completely empty it was just like what is going on so you know you watch all these scary movies of like you know zombie apocalypse and things like this and I think we all kind of lived through that in a way you know and it was like you know where do we go from here what do we do can we talk to people can we touch people can we you know it it, it was just all those emotions that, that I think we all would through um and you know thank god things are opening back up you know yay you know yeah. especially with music festivals you know I'm, I'm super excited about that because we're ready yeah and i think the fans are ready um to be a part of all that again i was wondering why we didn't have gigs i just found out about this whole pandemic thing. <laughs> <laughs> i was like what <laughs> you know our, our recording process for it is uh we, we have a, a recording studio here in you know with our practice area and uh, we, we did a lot of it here in our own studio. And then we took it to another local studio uh, here in Wichita and uh, finished it out. They had a, a, a beautiful grand piano that Sean just loved. Luckily and, enough, got to play. That, that ended up in the breakdown in the middle. And uh, then we had our record company uh, hooked us up with Bill Matoya, who mastered the first three, the first albums three Slayer, Slayer albums. Wow. He mastered that song for us. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that is pretty cool. That's that's, that's a nice little a little bit of a buddy resume there, right? Wow. Yeah. 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 It was a lot of it was, yeah, it was yeah. a lot of fun and very, very cool. Yeah. So um and I and I'm sorry, like I didn't even ask, what area are you in? You're in Kansas, is that correct? Yep, yeah. Wichita, Wichita, Kansas. Kansas. Yeah, you're the, you're the first band I've spoken to from that area, so that's awesome. Yeah, yeah we're, we're ready to represent. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, let me ask this. I mean, because I think people have sometimes certain assumptions about the Midwest, right. you know, and uh, what it's music, right? Well, what is the music scene like for you guys, considering the style of music that you play? Is it widely accepted? Is it like, are you the oddballs out? You know, oh, how does that fit in? Wichita is rife it is there's all sorts of everything in wichita mm -hmm. as far as music genres go mm -hmm. okay I mean, a lot of talent here it, it's, a lot you know, there's a it's good not, metal scene here yeah there's a good metal it's scene really yeah yeah, yeah uh, I, I don't think i would have expected someone to say there's a huge metal scene in wichita so but i think it's because it's an aircraft factory town yeah. uh, there's several aircraft factories different companies here Air in Capital. town okay that's awesome it's i don't know it's it's gets kind of industrial and metal like that <laughs> <laughs> you don't think of the midwest as being like that but yeah yeah there no are, and you know people from other places don't so yeah and i think you know and that's what i said i think there's that stereotype that everyone believes it's the midwest it must be all country and you know and, yeah, yeah. and that's, yeah, like, that's is, the kind of music it is like, i didn't figure it was that but it's not far from that yeah it's pretty urban yeah and you know our downtown is growing so much mm -hmm. and there's there, you can go and see pretty much any uh, any genre of music on a Friday, Saturday night in Absolutely. the summer. Which stuff. Okay, awesome. So we, um, as you know, as you're recording the second album, we know that you do have a, you do have other plans that are coming. Um, you are signed, you know, a signed band. You have you know another album coming out, and you do have a tour that's upcoming soon. Correct. That's yes. correct. So so what's the? Tell me about the tour plans. Where are you stopping? And you know who are you going with? Well, um, starting the beginning, well, the, the, towards the beginning of the uh, of August, we're going to be going to two different festivals. We're going down to Texas for Torch Fest, okay. um, and that's going to be on the sixth. And then on the seventh, we'll be going to Kansas City for Punk Fest, which will be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we're actually doing something kind of special um, for that show. Um, yeah. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. No, nope. say anything. <laughs> so you have to come. You have to come. Yes. To see. Um, but yeah, we're, so we're doing something really special for that. And then after that, then we'll be heading to Texas. Um, and we'll be down in Texas for about a week. Um, and uh, have Austin, yep. San Antonio, Houston, mm -hmm. and Corpus Christi mm -hmm. in a five day run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'll be a lot of fun <clears throat> down there. And then, um, uh, then after that, um, then we'll be. Um, coming back and then doing um, Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge. Yeah. Okay, so yep. it sounds yep. like you sounds like you're keeping busy. 
Yes. And okay. then and then after that, we've also got a tour coming up that's getting finalized right now with uh, some amazing brothers of ours that we've grown to become really good friends with and close with, which is Sister Kill Cycle. Um, they're out of Florida. Um, and then Pigweed is going to be headlining that. So um, we'll have those uh, confirmed dates. This should be in October. Um, it should be a two week run. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, if, you know, for those viewers who are watching, you know, we'll make sure we get that flyer out onto the onto the website with the interview of, uh, you know, where they're going to be in stops and whatnot, and, and make sure you can go see them, you know, if you can, that would be cool. You guys. Um, what's, so how did you end up getting onto the Blue Ridge Rock Festival lineup? Have you, have you played it before in the prior years? No, actually, no. Um, I had submitted us um, in like 17. And then, um, and then of course, I got in a little too late. And then um, it was, it was like 19, I believe is when I got hit up and said, hey, the committee um, has looked at your band. We've only chosen so many bands that we really like to bring out to Blue Ridge and you guys are one of them um, for 2020. And so of course, everybody knows what happened with 2020. Yep. Um, and so uh, when that all happened, they said we would love for you to just stay on and play in 2021. So that's what we're doing. Okay, that's cool. I mean, but you've, it sounds like, you, you know, as a band, you've, have you played, you've played festivals before though, correct? Yes, we yeah. played three years in a row at Oklahoma, um, which was a lot of fun on the dark side stage. So we um, just had, have a, a tremendous amount of love that we we have for a lot of people there in Oklahoma and that they have for us. So it's become a pretty great family there. And if anybody, anybody that's watching you right now, um, if you've never been to a festival, you, you, you can't express or explain exactly what that truly means to be a festival family it's it's all it's nothing you'll ever experience again um and you'll that's why you have repeat offenders if you will that keep going to all these festivals because it's such a beautiful thing it's not just about the shows it's not just about you know um it's it's about the relationships that you gain and it's it's a beautiful beautiful thing so I, I am a hundred percent agree with you, and I and I will say for those watching and for those who are part of the, you know, the Blue Ridge Rock Festival fan zone, that by itself is a festival family, and the things that you know Blue Ridge has done with that group alone um, in their support of the fans, and you know, it's it's very very impressive, and I I've I've learned to you know as I've been making friends with a lot of even the bands you know who are going to be there who have you know reached out to me and other just people in general, I've been very surprised by the feedback and how tight knit, you know, that group is. So I am looking forward to it. And I'm sure that anyone who's coming to this festival for the first time will immediately see like why they call that a festival family. Yeah, just, we've been talking about the whole week because we're yeah. going and enjoying every bit of it, trying to meet as many people as we possibly can and just have a wonderful time. So we, we've literally looked forward to this for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm sure other ones, everyone who missed last year is too, you know, they're, they're waiting. Yeah, and, and this is our first time ever going to that far. We've never been to Virginia, so we, we were- We got a bus. Yeah, yeah we finally got a tour <laughs> vehicle. Um, but we went to West Virginia for uh, Metal in the Mountains in okay. um, 19. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's as far as we've actually gone. To the east, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that's one I haven't been to yet. And eventually at some point, I'm going to have to make plans to hit oh, metal yeah. in the mountains too and they're great people uh, as well yeah, i heard very good things about that festival as well so we'll have see. to make a make a, i'll have to make a plan maybe next year we'll see and it's beautiful out there it's and I'm, i don't oh, know yeah, about virginia because we haven't been there yet but west virginia is gorgeous so. yes yeah that it is beautiful state beautiful state um so let me let me talk a little bit more about your music and i want to get some individual feedback um from each of you what are your favorite tracks that you have today that you like to play and what are the reasons why Brian, I'll start with you. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, Rat in the Cage is is uh, it's a lot of fun. It's powerful and it's challenging. Uh, uh, you know, dexterity wise, um, gets gets people going. The songs that get people going are the ones I I really like. You know, that's it's the most fun to because uh, usually those songs are kind of just surfing through on your hands. So you're you not you know fake it too much. Uh, you can just you know just hit those notes at those sweet spots other than that our opener is a banger it's called sloth it's the opener on our set it's the opener on the album and it uh it really gets the gets the blood flowing gets the party started okay sean what about you 
Um, I would have to say Blind Me is one. It's uh, the mode of the music's kind of, uh, oh, I'd say Middle Eastern style of music, and it's just really interesting to put that with metal. Okay, that is that is interesting. What 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 was the influence of having that sound added to that song? It's almost like a Led Zeppelin meets metal. Yeah, um, it was um, working with one of my old uh, guitar teachers. He taught me this mode, and it was used five notes in one scale. So it kind of just came out of that. Okay, that's cool. All right, Junie, what about you? Um, I've got to say, Rat in a Cage, just because it's our, our newest song and um I, I, guitar wise i put a lot into it you know come coming up with the riffs and the solo and and all like that and i i tried to make it interesting all the way through it, so it doesn't get boring and when you're as a guitar player when i'm playing it, it it's challenging move it from riff to riff yeah, yeah. So, okay yeah i really like that one right. josh what about you uh red i like but I do like some of the darker sounding ones like greed, envy, gluttony. Uh, gluttony. Uh, yeah, heard it. That's yeah. It's, it's supposed to be like that kind of horse gallop sound, you know, like in the depths of hell, and which is the very first words I actually okay. say. So. Uh, All right. I personally just like darker sounding songs. It's just me. Darker and faster, I guess. All right. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. And Raven, what about you? Um, I think, uh, well, I, I, I really love Sloth and I love Wrath. Obviously, that was the first whole beginning of everything. Um, but there's one song we, we don't really do live, um, but I do love it. And it's called Changes in Me. Um, it's probably the slowest beats per minute I've ever done on a song. It's like 90 beats per minute. Um, but it, it, was, it was like the very first song that ever came from like my heart. Um, I was actually in the bathroom. He was playing and I was like, keep doing that. We went out and I was like, record. And then I wrote, we wrote that in like five, 10 minutes. It was just whatever came out, it was there. Um, so that was, uh, you know, but that, that's what I, I love about how we work together. We work so well in our writing process that um, it just comes together, um, which is a beautiful thing. And, you know, these boys are my family, you know, and that it's, that's, you know, something that I think every band should have i mean you're going to go through your fights and you're going to go through your problems you're going to go through your whatever but you get through them that's what family does you know yeah and and i agree it's the you know the camaraderie you know with and as i was saying i was literally telling i think it was the band right before you know it's like i saw that you could see the camaraderie that's there and i could see from you know from the five of you like the kind of family connection you know that you have for each other and you know the songs that you do it's it plays out it's very obvious so it's great that you guys have that um the 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 thing i find interesting the way that you said that of i wrote this in my bathroom it's like there's something you don't hear every day <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much she gets her best work yes <laughs> don't worry, put that put that on the list right yeah <laughs> there you go it's an album title songs from the bathroom you know yeah there you go <laughs> Bathroom diaries. <laughs> the bathroom diaries. I like that. There you go. That's the one. There's the title right there. <laughs> That's where I quit the band. <laughs> Wiping the sleeper. Wiping, Wiping the sleeper, really. Yeah, just really. <laughs> gross. Wiping the sphincters. Oh. <laughs> off the rails. Off the rails. <laughs> off the rails. That's right. I don't. We don't. I don't mind going off the rails. It's happened. It's normal. Um, <laughs> let's let's talk a little bit about the outside. You know, I want the fans to get to know who you are. Is you know, outside of just the music stuff um like i want to talk about you know some hobbies and things but i want to start with junie because junie's holding a friend and i I want you to introduce (laughs) your friend to everyone who's watching who is that this this is my best buddy fiona apple she's she's kind (laughs) of she's in the nap zone right now (laughs) and she's usually not like that she's real noisy and full of energy we gave her doggy bend drill yeah (laughs) (laughs) No, yeah, I'll put this disclaimer, no animals are harmed during the filming of this yeah, video. Right, okay, exactly. Right. Disclaimer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we've, we've got a couple of dogs, a couple of cats, and they, they keep me busy. Oh, but uh, what, what kind of dog is she? What breed is she? Um, she's a min pin. Okay, I know what those are. Pincher pincher. Yeah, miniature pincher. Uh, interesting thing I found out about miniature pinchers is they're not actually miniature pinchers they're small greyhounds really i didn't know that 
Yeah. So yeah. I really listen to you. Fast. Okay. <laughs> really fast. Aw, she's ad- she's adorable though. So I want I wanted to start there and make sure we called her out. You know, she'd get her her little fame there too. Yeah. She's very cute. Very uh, cute. Yeah. The the animals keep me busy, and then uh, I I do a lot of gardening and and just that that sort of thing. And uh, I'm an ex uh, commercial aircraft mechanic. Okay. Uh, machinist, and retired from that now. So. Okay. What do you what do you like to grow in your garden? Do you have a favorite type of plant vegetable that you like tomatoes to Tomatoes and peppers. Tomatoes and peppers. Okay. He's yeah. really good at gardening too. I got some cucumbers and just all kinds of stuff. Okay. Very cool. If it'll grow, I'll try to make it bigger. Grow, <laughs> <laughs> grow. <bro. laughs> there you go. All right. Um, Josh, let's hit you next. What do you what do you like to do when you're not doing music stuff? Uh if I'm not doing music stuff, I'm usually doing more music stuff. <laughs> I got, I got another project that I'm still working on right now, but okay. But uh, if not, then I'm writing. I do have like a multi-seasonal show that I'm working on. Uh, I've been working on it for several years now that I think about it. But it's still not done. I'm still storyboarding. And That's okay. Some, getting some help from a friend who actually uh, wrote a book and went to go get it uh, published. Uh, I need to give him another call, but. Uh, Mm-hmm. All right. That's that sounds like I mean that's a lot of work though. So I hope I hope that project goes through. Very cool for you. I hope right. so too. <laughs> how many episodes do I have? So far 222. Wow. Wow. Still wow. Not I mean I'm still you know working stuff out, but hopefully I can get that worked out. Okay. Well good good luck to you definitely on that. So Raven, yeah. what about yourself? Um well um I'm a mother of five and wow. Yeah. A lot of kids. Yes, and yeah. I know, right? Well, mother of ten, really. Uh, <laughs> nine. Take care of her mostly. What? <laughs> what? No, <it's> like, <laughs> but uh, um, and I'm also a grandmother too. So, um, okay. yeah. So a lot of people they were, you know. But I've been in the business for a very long time. I also um, have a podcast I do myself. I just haven't done it for a couple months because I've been kind of preparing for some other things that we've been doing. Um, but, uh, which is a lot of fun and a lot of work too. So I know what you have to go through. It's, it's yeah. Like, especially well, when there's like editing issues and you're like, ah, <laughs> I understand. So but, what's your podcast about? Um, it's actually what you do. Um, I interview local, regional and national bands. Awesome. And we just do artist to artist and we talk about, you know, the fun times on the road, things that, you know, people go through and, you know, where they're at, what they're doing, things like that. And I just kind of help want to, I love to help expose people to bands as well. So it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to do that. And, and you'll have all these new people loving these new bands. And, you know, it's, it's kind of just a fulfilling thing that you've helped kind of spread the music. Yep. I know. I, I know exactly what you mean. Exactly what you mean. Absolutely. So all, right. Of fun. Yeah, all right. Ryan, what about you? Oh, man. Uh, I run game. Uh, I've spent a lot of time on my OnlyFans. That's most of my uh, most of my work. Uh, now I like to cook a lot. Uh, He's a great cook. Uh, amazing. <laughs> He's both of them to our chefs. So. Uh, do, uh, they learn you know, me. painting and, uh, you know, just, just good times, just good times. Now, a lot of, a lot of music. Uh, I, I really seriously listen to music for several hours a day and dig deep into whatever little rabbit hole I go down. Okay. And uh, you know, practice yeah. guitar. You've, you've hit a, you've hit a trend that I'll talk about in a minute when it comes okay. to hobbies with bands. Okay. Um, but I want to get one more. So, Sean, what do you have? Um, I've been to basically forgotten arts. I like getting into shaving with straight razors. Uh, my wife and I work a lot of burlesque shows and do the circus sideshow act stuff and um, just all kinds of stuff like that. Renaissance fair stuff. Okay. Those, those are, I love rent fairs. They're tons of fun. Absolutely tons of fun. My wife is also a belly dancer. She sometimes performs with us yeah. as well. And oh, that's cool. Actually, she will be with us at the uh, Blue Ridge Festival. And, oh, she will? Okay. Uh, so I, I work with her and do a lot of... Uh, Middle Eastern drum stuff with her and her belly dance group and stuff. So. Okay, now now I start to see more of where the where the where the Middle Eastern influence also kind of pops in music wise. So, yeah. All right, that's very cool. 
the, the, the thing I said with trends, it's interesting from the bands I've interviewed so far from the series that we're doing, I keep finding two that always seems to pop up with these groups. One is art. So in some way, shape or form, there's always seems to be one member, if not more, who are artists in some way. And I mean like drawing, sculpting, you know, crafting, whatever. Um, and then the other one, ironically, are video gamers. So oh, yeah. it seems like that the majority yeah, of you know musicians good. love to play games. I've only come across one band so far that said, no, that's none of us. And I was like, <laughs> wow, that's weird. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah. That seems to be the trend. So I'll, I'll ask real quick, are any of you gamers? Yeah, my uh, show that I'm working on is actually based off a video game series that, uh, so. Okay, what do you like to play? Oh, God. <laughs> you got an hour? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, if I bring up Castlevania, I can talk for an hour about it. Trust me. Do you have a Castlevania shirt on? I do, indeed. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's a good series, though. I'll, I'll, I have to give hands down to that one. That's a, that's a fun one. Indeed. All right. So you see, like, that's why I say, like, the trends is always there. It's art and video games. It's just yeah. never, never fails. Never, never fails. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, Ryan, I'll ask Chris. So we talked about the art. What do you like? What do you paint? Man, I've been working on a um, uh, series of album uh, covers. Okay. That, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I did uh, White Pony by the Deftones. Fear Factory. Uh, I've done a couple of Fear Factory. Okay. Uh, albums. I'm working on a uh, Rancid uh, and Out Come the Wolves. Oh, good one. Uh, that, yeah, that's great. I love that. Yeah, yeah just uh, picking different album covers and just putting them on the, you know, okay. little screen. That's, that's a cool project. I like that idea. So, so if, uh, if you have any pictures of any of your art, send me those. I like to show oh, them sweet. off. Show them off to the fans, too. So, absolutely. We'll do. Okay. So, we, we've covered the hobby stuff. Um, so, what day is Waking the Sleeper playing Blue Ridge? On Saturday. 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 On Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Yes. So that's Saturday the tenth. Oh no, Saturday the eleventh. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, got my days mixed up. Let's not do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. which, which, you know, for us, you know, that's like a prime day. You know, because a lot of people are coming in on Thursday. They're getting set up, or they're coming right. in on Friday because they have to work all week. Um, so this is like that prime day, and we're super excited about that opportunity. Super so. stoked. Super yeah. stoked. Yeah, it's and and unfortunately, it's also 20th anniversary of 9/11 too on that day. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yep. So yeah, it's, I'm I'm hoping maybe Blue Ridge will have something a little special. I know. You know I, wish, I, would, honor yeah, I mean, you know, because like you know, as fans, you know, we wish we had like an hour, an hour and yeah. a half to yeah. be on that stage because there's so much more. That we'd love to show everybody, but obviously we, you know, we only a have lot of bands. You know, <laughs> yeah. so much time. Yeah, not, a lot of bands. That's, that's a lot of bands. I know, and you know, we were talking about that. Um, I kind of, I kind of started something, and I don't know if you noticed that on the Blue Ridge Rock Festival fan page, but I, I, I had said, you know, hey, you know, if we could get a T-shirt with all the bands. I saw that, and I love I that know. idea. I started something for sure. Yeah. But uh, um, I, I get that it would be very difficult to get all those she I've likes never, difficult i do i have never <laughs> i've never seen so many bands on a festival and i don't know forever like yeah. and it would be super amazing if we were able to do that because obviously you know like we're you know a regional inter, or regional national band but we're not international yet so for us to be on that with lamb of god or you know these other bands that is you know super just humbling so um that's something to look back on, especially if there's a t-shirt. Yeah. It'd have to be four feet long. It would have to be four feet long. <laughs> well, they have to make that, bath towels. Maybe that, a that, dress. That, that, that brings up something they might be able to do is even like a um, banner. They could create a banner. Yeah, like, see, uh, what yeah. I would, I'd love to see if they could fit it was, you know, the entire, I mean, because you've seen the poster. There is a poster that's been out there. Yeah. It's an image. Yeah. You know, with all the yeah, bands on it, it's just unfortunately the print gets so small, you know, sometimes with the rising talent bands. That are on there so it's hard to get that on there i mean i would even be okay if they did a rising talent shirt of right. just yeah. all of you guys which is cool, uh -huh. which is cool. Yeah. And, and i thought about that too and um, which would be cool um but i still i still go back to this whole thing you want to see it yeah I see it with lamb of god on there too yeah. so you know, things like that i mean that's these are our, our rising steps that we're going through maybe make daily to, shirts maybe daily shirts yeah right yeah. Ho hopefully I'm, when we get hopefully when we get this interview out there someone will see this 
these ideas. We have ideas, you know. So. Oh, we, have <laughs> ideas. we have ideas. We have ideas. Yeah, we have ideas. Well, yeah, I mean, and I, and I did like, see that post in the in the fan towel, zone, so. towel idea, you know, the, the beach towel. That's yep. cool too. I mean, people are gonna need towels there. Yeah, keep keep, <laughs> keep poking at that. I say, you know, you never know what comes out of it. I will, right? like I said, I will say, you know, from from my experience, I've seen that, you know, the staff members of Blue Ridge are very active, you know, Jonathan himself obviously is very, you know, busy at times, but I know he looks at stuff. I know he's reading things. He sees yeah. these. So yeah. I just yeah. never know, they, you know, just they have, uh, they yeah. have done such a phenomenal job. Just comparing them from 19 to now this year. Big difference. Huge, huge difference. Yep. Incredible what they've done. It's it's yeah. just, this, so kudos goes out to the whole staff of Blue Ridge. Yes, right? yeah, right? could definitely kudos to the staff. I mean, they've put together a great lineup and 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 the one thing that I've been impressed about with this specific festival, what drew me, you know, to this festival was not just, you know, the headliner bands, but also just the amount of rising talent that is on this list. Yeah. And getting a chance to talk to each of you as I've had with these interviews has just blown me away because it keeps introducing me to music I've never heard. That's and funny. different styles and genres of things I never knew. So yeah. fans ensure yourself do not miss out on the rising talent bands because yeah. if you do, you're going to miss something yeah. um you know definitely know. take know. take the time pay attention go find their youtubes and such absolutely yeah. yes absolutely yeah. yep. so, all right so is there somebody in particular you are looking forward to to seeing at blue ridge <laughs> Wait, how much how much time do we have to talk <laughs> so, so I'll, uh, this is kind of funny for me it's like it, 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 it's funny and it's not but i everyone was sharing their um list of okay, these the bands i want to yeah. see right and i went out there and did it different because you know i've been doing photography for concerts since late 2016 wow. i've been very blessed and very fortunate from the bands that i've gotten to do and if you if you find my post, I, what I did is highlighted every band I've photographed at some point, and most of the nationals I've done. So yes. you know, I, I want to see a lot of the rising talent and get a chance to photograph you guys if I can. Absolutely. And hoping there's not too much overlap where I'm not running like miles from stage to stage. Because yeah. right? yeah. I jokingly said at one point, you know, and early on when I first had joined the group and said, could I photograph all 160 bands? <laughs> you know, by the time when this festival's done, could I have said that I hit everyone that was there? Even <laughs> if it was Can I make that whole banner green? I don't think that's feasible, but I'd love to do it. <laughs> I'd love to say that I tried. I actually, actually hit up the liaisons for Blue Ridge and said, "Can can we bring our own golf carts?" <laughs> He said, he said, well, you can rent them there. No, we won't bring your own. There's right. <laughs> serious motors on them. Yeah, somebody, somebody <laughs> right. If someone from Blue Ridge show. sees this, I want to make this happen. So, you know, I mean, so for me, it's like I want to, I want to see a lot of the rising talents. Um, but out of any of the bands, honestly, who I'm like bucket listing for, that's like my must-see on the nationals, it's two. Mm. Spirit Box, for one. Yes. Um, because yes. they're so hot right now, and I love their music. And, you know, this is their first debut Wow. show in the u.s wow playing you yeah. know i didn't even know who they were until the blue ridge right and no the, I, uh, i've known them since you know since they kind of released that first single um so yeah that's so they're definitely the first um the second is i prevail and the only and the reason why yeah. is like i've already loved their music yes. i love that last album that got released and fell in love with almost every track on it but yeah. the time when they came to orlando where i am to do a tour mm -hmm. i was out of town and missed uh -oh. them yeah and that yeah. killed me. So yeah, yeah that happens my... to us a lot too. Like we will be wanting to go see somebody, but we're on tour. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, yep. we're gone. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that's yeah, those are those are my big two that I absolutely have to see. You know, I mean, and there's some other ones like Papa Rocho, I have not a chance to see live yet. I definitely want to, you know, yeah, hit and hopefully yeah. see them. But yeah, I but those are my two really big, big ones that I want to do. And then obviously I'd love to be able to hit everyone I've interviewed so far and be able to see your sets live. Yeah, that'd be, so, that'd be awesome. That's a cross finger. So we'll see. All right. So uh, what, la you know, I think we talked about most of the stuff that you know, we wanted to talk about. So what last words, you know, do you have for us as a, you know, as a band, as a group, talk about anything that's on your mind. Um, I'll start with Ryan and we'll work our way around again to the, to Raven at the end. So Ryan, what do you have? Well, um, let's see, it's going to be feel good to get back out there again. Uh, I think we played our last show in January. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. January, right. February. And so, February. Yeah. It was around my birthday. Yeah, was around, uh, uh, it's been a while. Uh, got to knock off the cobwebs and uh, you know put back in to get in there. We uh, we've been together enough, long enough to where we're uh, you know just focused 
and ready to get out there and just you know show our stuff again and just you know get that get that little butterfly that's in your stomach out and just go and perform and knock some people's socks off and you know meet some interesting people and rock out that's that's what we're that's what we're about all make right some, so make some fans yeah that's good sean what about you no final words just uh can't wait to see you guys there and have a good time okay Junie. um for a lot of us um a, a big festival like this to be able to play one's like a lifelong dream mm -hmm. and so this will be like a dream come true and we we want everybody to come out and check us out and enjoy our music we're gonna do our best to play play our best and uh really kick some people in the face <laughs> not sure literally to <laughs> sure to six foot distance <laughs> yes not literally all right josh what about you uh we're just you know kind of freaking out that uh i get to go to this show the blue ridge and also testament's gonna be there and yeah gene hoagland was a big influence on me junie heard of me rave about it like maybe i shouldn't go <laughs> you should go man boy out yeah yeah, yeah. i'm a mouth breather shut up <laughs> <laughs> you are in head chicken you should yank my drumstick man you are in head chicken distance you shut, your mouth. You shut up uh, hopefully just you know press him enough that you know I can kick Sean legally and he'll help me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and Raven. Um, I think the biggest thing I'm excited for is, is you know, every, you know, the wonderful thing about Blue Ridge Rock Festival is they, they have this fan zone page and we've all become a part of it. Um, I've met so many amazing people that I'm so excited to meet in person, um, whether it be, you know, just somebody going in as a fan or, you know, fans. Um, I think that's a beautiful thing, too, that that. Um, a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of us fans are talking um we're talking about oh we need to do a show together or what you know hey let's plan this together or you know so we're getting not only opportunities within each other but becoming fans of other bands um that are rising talents and things like this so i think it's a really cool thing what um blue ridge rock festival is doing it's it's something that um i really haven't seen to this degree so i'm very humbled to be a part of it. We all are. And um, I think it's just going to be such an amazing time. And I, I don't, I know that whole week we were going to be tired and, and oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. and that. But at the same time, you know, we're not going to want it to end. I think that's how the whole experience of a festival usually goes, even, even though we're going to be there from like, what, Thursday to Sunday, Sunday night late, yeah. you know. Um, and we are driving um, in our RV tour bus. So it's going to be a long trip a long trip so um but we're excited it's going to be um a lot of great amazing things we're going to do i think we're going to do some podcast lives um on the way there because these guys are crazy to travel with it's like it's like a show in itself like <laughs> well, <sorry. laughs> so it's, it's going to be so much fun and i think it would be you know a great way to kind of bring in people to who we are uh, mm -hmm. to show our you know because we're we're comedic comedic people we, we have just we just love to have a lot of fun um, we, we're serious when we're serious and need to be, but at really the same that time, that we're <laughs> we do all the work. <laughs> so. She makes it easy. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I can absolutely tell, but absolutely tell. All right. So uh, just as a reminder to our viewers right now. So remember, it's the Blue Ridge Rock Festival. That's going to be running from September the 9th to September 12th in Danville, Virginia. Waking the Sleeper will be playing on that Saturday. September the 11th. Um, so come out and definitely see their set. And just as a reminder, you know, if you, if you see them, they have merch, please help to support these bands as the rising talents of the way that they get through is mostly through sales. So t-shirts, you know, a new album, CD, you know, buy a single, buy a sticker, buy a button, you know, whatever they oh, have that helps, yeah. helps to support <laughs> them. So whatever you can do, please do and so. And RV's gas is a lot, okay? Yeah, so RV's <laughs> gas is a lot. So, you know, please to help to do that to um, support these bands as they're coming to Blue Ridge to play. And um, and also, you know, please just remember, you know, if you see them around, go feel free to say hi. You know, yeah. a lot of these bands are more than happy to say hi to the fans and yeah, talk sure. and 
you know, do photos and stuff. So please go and maybe catch them wandering around or at the tables. But, you know, go over and say hello and uh, introduce yourself to them and learn about their music because this, yes, this is a band I think that a lot of these fans are, are going to love. And I think you'll enjoy them right away because I know that I did from what I've listened to so far. And I'm going to go continue to do so. So but, um, thank, thank you, you very much, everyone, for taking the time great tonight to you. the interview. Yeah. I greatly appreciate awesome. it. And yeah. uh, hopefully that you have a great rest of your night and that a great tour. And then we'll see you in September at the Blue Ridge yeah. Rock Festival. Yeah. Come Thank see you us. Thank you for doing what you do, by the way. Thank you so Thank much you. for that.